Dr. Rob McGregor from Akron Children's Hospital, medical director there. And Rob, thanks for joining us this morning. We got the news from Governor DeWine earlier this week about remobilizing outpatient surgery. So talk a little bit about this uh, pulling up the curtain it is as far as Akron Children's Hospital is concerned, what you'll be able to do. Sure. Thanks, Ray. We actually began thinking about this about three three weeks ago and have had teams working on what it might look like, uh, anticipating different scenarios and following Governor De- DeWine's guidance. Uh, we will be expanding the number and types of procedures available to our patients, and we're rescheduling those outpatient surgeries as well as some other uh, medical appointments that were postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In order to do that, we've actually had people at every one of our sites looking at the physical areas and making sure that they're in the, the safest way to deliver care. Anybody that will be joining our sites or visiting the hospital will notice that we do have restrictions on the visitors still because we really need to minimize the number of, of people that are walking around and potentially spreading the disease. We're requiring masking of everybody over the age of two, and if families don't have a mask, we provide a clean cloth mask and ask that they then distribute that for professional cleaning afterwards so that we don't run short on on that. Uh, If there are children with special needs that cannot tolerate a mask, such as children with autism, we understand that, and we allow some flexibility in that that procedure or that policy. Uh, the all the geographic areas have been staked out by our quality and uh, facilities folks to make sure that we've restricted the number of chairs in the waiting rooms, all those sorts of things as well, and have actually developed uh, a text-based way for people to remain in their car at some of the off-site practices and then be texted when they're ready to come in and then go right to the to their room rather than having congested waiting areas. Dr. McGregor, so with the outpatient surgeries now back on the calendar, a lot of rescheduling will be done. So I, I guess what you're saying is people understand, be patient, there's changes, and, and, and the waiting room, like you said, might be out in the car for quite some time. You know, talk a little bit about, you know, coming into the hospital, going out of the hospital, and for those people bringing those children in, what they can and cannot do. Sure. Thanks, Ray. When you come into the hospital or to any Akron Children's site, you will be screened. And at the hospital, both in Mahoning Valley and on the Akron campus, expect to have somebody ask you a series of questions, including have you had an, a temperature or any symptoms of COVID? And then they, they list the different symptoms, including loss of taste or smell. And also, have you had an exposure, a known exposure to COVID? If you screen positive, you'll be given that mask immediately, and then the the child that that's with you, if there's another adult, will ask you to pass pass the child off to that other adult, because we only allow one adult to to accompany the patients, so that uh, we we really want to try to minimize that. So we we will be screening. You'll you'll get your temperature taken as well, and then you will be allowed to proceed to the areas that you were supposed to be seen at. The hospital, as I said, will have plexiglass barriers in places where it was impossible to have six feet uh, between the people and and the providers. Uh, some of the, the equipment that's being used by the providers will be different depending on the type of procedure. We still have a critical short shortage of the N95 and the KN95 masks, which offer our providers maximum protection when they are doing procedures like putting a tube in to help someone breathe during anesthesia. So people may see folks wearing masks that just look very unusual. And again, that's all part of our our protection process. With us is uh, Dr. Rob McGregor, Medical Director, Akron Children's Hospital. Dr. McGregor, everyday course of life continues, and that means babies are born and some of them with special needs you have your NICU unit and that type of thing what about adjustments during COVID-19 as far as that goes well as you you say Ray babies keep being born and some of them are early and some of them are sick our NICU has continued to be very busy uh, at all of our sites and 
what you'll see there is all employees wear a mask. And for our physicians and nurse practitioners that have to attend deliveries, they may have the N95 masks at the delivery hospitals are requiring that so that we can't make assumptions for whether the, those moms are positive or, or have, are shedding the virus. What we're doing deliberately for our, our surgeries at Akron, and again, we're, we're talking about outpatient surgeries, so the NICU would be emergency surgeries, and we've been doing those all along. But in, in Akron, we're actually testing all people for surgery within the 24 hours prior to their surgery so that we can adapt and know how aggressive we have to be with our protective equipment. Dr. McGregor, as far as family coming in to take a look at some of these sick babies and such, are we on a limited number? How does that work? Yeah, we we do allow, um, in the NICU, we do allow two visitors per patient per stay. And those people, we really request only one at the bedside at a time. Now, if you've got twins, uh, which we do have a couple of sets of twins, <laughs> you can have one pa- one family member per bedside per patient. So that's that's where we do make exceptions. And again, the reason is not to be restrictive or deprive the children of, of bonding with their families. It really is about safety for all of our patients, all of our employees, and all of the parents. There's no doubt. Dr. McGregor, thank you for the insight this morning. Certainly, again, changing a little bit this week as far as Healthcare wanted to get you folks on to let certainly heading into the weekend, but each and every day, what the patients and certainly what the people from Akron can expect from our great Akron Children's Hospital. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate the time with us. You're welcome, Ray. Take care. Mm-hmm. Stay you, safe. you too. Dr. Rob McGregor, Medical Director, Akron Children's Hospital.